Hey and welcome back to our channel guys. Welcome back. We have missed you so much. Yes indeed. And today we feel like it's time for the video that I said that probably you guys would like in the last one where we spoke about our channel being hacked. So I had come up with the idea of just asking Alex because I wanted to know from his point of view what it's like being together with a Jamaican woman. <laughs> I don't know if it's silly, but I just think it would be interesting to hear what he would say. Um, so yeah, I thought like while we're out driving, running some errands, he could just lay them out on me. And um, yeah, so here, so if you wanna know also, just stick around. So we can get into this video and find out what this handsome man has to say oh, about this girl. <laughs> you're making me blush. <laughs> so let's all get right, into the video. All right, all right. I got something you can't explain. La 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 la. In the metaphysical kind of way. La 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 la. There's something magic inside my veins. La 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 No matter what, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. Can you feel it? You ready? I, you know what you're gonna say? I'm pretty ready. I think so. Yeah. All right. So drop, drop number one, Pam. Let me hear what you have to say. What's the first thing? Can't mess with her rice. That's what you can't do. <laughs> My rice. Like you mean like? I mean the rice in peace. The rice. No, but generally um, you love rice. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to generalize here. I have to do that. Mm -hmm. You you represent Jamaican women. Of course, right? I so represent. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that. So what do you, what do you mean really when you say no, mess I with mean, my rice? Yeah, okay. So, so what I mean is, when we boil rice, me or you, mm -hmm. just make sure that you boil enough because nothing will be left for me <laughs> if it's not enough rice because you. You nyam rice like <laughs> no one else. And that goes for your family also. So Yeah. And I've seen I, I know. You just order a box food in Jamaica and like 70%, 80%, 90% is sometimes rice. You nyam rice a lot. Okay, so it is So um, yeah. if I mean it's not like you're gonna split the rice 50-50, at least. <laughs> so, oh, but if I want rice near you, just, just make sure that we boil enough, enough rice. And I think I can speak for all the Jamaican women. Can I? Can I not? I don't so know. maybe, but I... For all Jamaicans? I love rice, yes, but I thought it would have meant more like when I'm cooking my rice and peas, for example, I want it a particular way. And it's like there's no other way cooking rice and peas than my way and i think <laughs> maybe a lot of jamaicans can relate because us is like no there's no other way to cooking than or way it's just like or way or the highway but yeah i love rice so all right that's interesting never uh, understood that thing with butter in the rice though no i don't put butter in my rice so don't say that like people think that i put butter in my rice because i don't i don't understand buttering rice either i think for me personally, and I'm gonna step on a lot of toes probably, but if you put butter in your rice, you can't cook or sugar <laughs> because a good rice and peas with just good coconut milk, you don't need anything more than that and just your seasonings. Please let us know how you make the perfect rice. Let us. I would ha rice. probably have to do a vlog on that because gonna... I can't. I can't um, just say it like that. All right. But yeah, I love making rice and peas, and my family loves when I make rice and peas. They love it. All right, babes, give me give me your next one. Um, you take time with your hair, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to check them out. Yeah. You take time. You take time. Just uh, be prepared. Like what do you mean? Be I did not know. <laughs> yeah. It takes time. Yes, it you does. You need time to get ready. And when you say that you're gonna wash your hair, that takes. Sometimes it feels like it takes at least half a day. Yeah. And then you're in there, you listen to music. <laughs> I don't know what else you do, and I keep track. 
um, takes time. Yeah, but I feel like, yeah, you're right, but I feel like that is not just like a Jamaican thing, it's just more like a African, like black of people course, thing, because course. we all have the same problem, so it's not really Jamaican per se. But okay, um, yeah, when I wash my hair, especially like in the beginning when I had lower hair, my wash days were so easier, but the longer it gets, the harder it gets. Like I'm so close to getting the creamy crack, but I mm, don't do it. Don't go mm, that I'm way. I'm so babe. close because don't I can't. Like my hair, I just these days I just like wash it and put it in a bun because I can't bother. So if it's not buns, it's braids. Because I I've, I haven't tried wigs yet. Maybe I will try soon. Because I just probably just have some cornrows and I just throw on a wig whenever we're ready. Sweetheart. So we save time. This hair this hair this beautiful hair that's yeah. part of your identity yeah and that goes for all black women embrace your hair love yeah, yourself I love it's myself. so beautiful that's clean it's not like i'm saying i and but i mean just just embrace it by taking the time to maintain it and take care of it yeah i will take care of it still but no, i'm just saying to save time because sometimes your when you're on a rush you don't get the proper so sometimes I'm just trying to be a bit more diverse when I say probably try a wig or so, you know, but I said probably. I love your hair. Natural. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Or when you put in braids. I love the braids. Thank you. Sexy. <laughs> Alright, so give me your next point. Let me hear what you have to say. Okay, so this one I don't think it's a Jamaican thing. I know. But more on Jamaican points. But I'm, I'm still gonna have to say it. Jamaica, Africa, connected, right? Yeah. Yeah, so there's this thing called... Am I allowed to say black time? Or what, do you, what, do you, what, do you, what would you call it? <laughs> I mean, you have people that call it black time. You have some people that don't like it. But just, uh, yeah, I think I understand what you're gonna say. But I say. mean, I've, I've, I saw it in Tanzania too. Tanzania, mm -hmm. like you say, you say one o'clock, it means three o'clock, <laughs> and everything just takes time. I like that. I mean, not always. When you when you need to go to some authority or office to get some papers, documents, yeah, you need something signed. It's really frustrating because those things are so boring. I don't want to yeah, wait yeah. for that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just bubble on stuff, and I just wanna. I don't wanna deal with bubble on stuff for too long and spend too much time. Um, so, but but in the sense of people not being in a rush, and it's okay to say I'll meet you then, but it actually means maybe an hour later or so, and mm -hmm. or you come when you come, or mm -hmm. it's. I like that. I appreciate that. Here, one o'clock is one o'clock. That's and like the craziest thing I've seen. Late, you're late. You're five late. minutes over is late. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've seen. I never forget, man. My experiences when people literally say, if they're coming somewhere at this time, they literally mean this time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's a Jamaican thing, of course, because usually when we say, for example. And sorry, You're right. for, sorry mm -hmm. for interrupting you now, but this whole can't we find another word? It sounds so weird to say black time. Yeah, but you have black people that call it black time. All I don't, right, I don't right. know what to call it. Right. It's, it sounds but weird. That, I agree. That also includes because it sounds me, stereotypical when you say black time. Me really. having to wait for you. Yeah. When we need to get moving. Yeah. So usually, uh, I mean, sometimes when we were supposed to meet up with some friends or so, I can just tell them that, oh, uh, maybe, no, how do I do again? Yeah, my tactic is actually sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I... You have a tactic. I tell you, yeah, and now you're going to know. I tell you a set time, like, let's just say, oh, I, uh, we decided that we're going to meet them at two. <laughs> But it's actually like 2.30 So sometimes I can tell you 
another time. That's not actually it. So now I know. Now you know. Okay. Now I know. But don't uh, don't work according to that. <laughs> you should always work uh, according to what time I tell you, babe. But I think it, the Jamaican, you know, Jamaicans were always right around the corner, for example, and oh, you know, to call up in hand. your hand. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to cut that out because I was sitting like this. <laughs> no, I think it's fine. Yeah. Because we're always around the corner and really around the corner means like, okay, we're 30 minutes away from where we say we're going to be, so... Are we? I'm talking about Jamaicans. Oh. <laughs> but alright, point taken, point taken. Mm -hmm. Where do we go now, actually? We go left. We go left. Oh, it's Uppsala. It feel like something where really just mark Jamaican. We really, we really wait on that. So let me hear what you have to say after this one, you know. All right, all right. I have one um, specific one. Mhm. Mm I don't know if people can relate. I don't know what Jamaicans would say, but you guys, you talk pretty loud, no? Nah? So me talk loud. You talk loud. So me talk loud. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not in all contexts, but like in some contexts, especially when you when you talk on the phone. When on, the on the phone, phone, that I agree. It's like I agree it sounds that. like you guys scream sometimes when you're on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. Um, but it all depends on context. Like when I talk with my family, I'm usually loud. Mm. Because but my when you're more formal, you don't talk that loud. Yeah, exactly. So it's more like depends on the social setting, really. Mm. And your friend, your friend Shan. Yeah. She she's a very calm. I know Shan's gonna watch this now. <laughs> yeah. So when you talk to her, that just transmits to you. So I feel like you're more you're more zen. Yeah. By the way, Shan, I think you should just because Shan is gonna be watching this, you can just tell her here so she hears because you always tell me. So I think she needs to hear it. Say what? That you like when you like to hear her voice on the phone. Yeah. Because she's it's so very, calm. It's very soothing. It's yeah. It's really soothing. Super relaxing. So now you know, Shan. Now you know. Maybe. <laughs> Should, um, Even her sister actually. She could like. She, she's read, the same because um, they sound alike. What, what, you, what you call that thing again? In Podcast. That too, but I mean like audiobooks. Oh, I used to. She should definitely do that. That's true. So yeah. Don't get caught by the cameras. No, sir. But um, yeah. All right. What's her business call again? Her business is called Morg Art. Morg Put Art. it right That's here right. at That's Morg right. Art on yes. Instagram. Yes, yes. So if you guys want to go check it out, please go check it out because I think she's awesome at what she does and she's just so talented. Mm. Um. So yes, all right. Back to what we're talking about. Because mm -hmm. I still wait for you. Wow, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> we want, we want yeah, I was just thinking wow. about that talking loud thing. We in Sweden are yeah, you guys more are introverts. Yeah, uh, so it's a it's a big contrast for you, right? In that right, sense, right. yeah. You know what I mean. Chuck, come with something else, man. All right, people in my way, tell me how to. Why your next point? <laughs> Why your next point? Man, you're putting me on the spot here feel pressure <laughs> but maybe like okay um, Sunday church music <laughs> right. now, we're, now we're there now we're right, there right. <laughs> I have to live with that it's no problem it can be nice that can be nice um, now you're talking all right what about my Sunday church that music can, that can be nice I'm not personally so religious the closest uh, Rastafari is not a religion, but that liberty is. You're more. Close, a ra you're more closer to, my, to Rastafari. To my, to my heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
but uh, it's the music is nice it can be nice I think you have come a long way though because it had gotten to a to this point where he would actually wake me up on Sunday mornings with music so there's a specific um, no no there was this one it's song actually because that's basically the only way to, to get, get you me up, up. Okay. So I just put on some church music on, on Sunday because But there's one that you like There is this one church song that you like Yeah And it's the Jesus, one Jesus, you love me too much <laughs> Yes, that's it Too, too much, much Too much <laughs> Excess love He loves that yeah, one yeah, yeah. I think you should also know though hmm? That Rastafarian 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 they actually also read the Bible, at least some of them. Yeah, they do. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them, they still have this. But I know a whole heap of them don't like to be called religious. No, it's not. Rastafari right. is, not a, is not a religion. It's a, see, it's a way of living. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing the books have always told us, but it's not actually like that. Um, what do you mean now? The books tell you that Rastafarian is a religion and they call it ism. No, Babylon tells us that Rastafarian yeah, is a Babylon religion. Yeah, Babylon are the books. What next? Do you have any more points or was that it? So Alex, I have one more. Fui. Someone is there here. anything else that you feel like I forgot? That you could mention what that makes me Jamaican? What it's like being together with a Jamaican. Well, here's one for you. Mm-hmm. We um, have, mm -hmm. your, what word can I use here? <laughs> First I thought you're in love or you're, <laughs> you're obsessed. <laughs> I don't know if those obsessed are, with what? Those, if those are uh, fitting. But you love your own damn food. It was hard. When you came here the first time, it was really hard to open up your mind. To trying new foods. different food cultures. It actually was, yeah. Uh, but I don't know if that's just you or if it's... I think that's more a personal thing. Jamaicans, we always appreciate and, you know, always come back yeah, to our that's own actually cuisine. A bad, that's actually a... So I wouldn't really... That was a bad point. What I would say that you could have said, for example, was that every juice that I make has to have ginger in it. Like, that's what makes you know that you're with a Jamaican because we put ginger in everything. We love using scotch bonnet and don't forget your pimint one time. Mm -hmm. Like almost everything has to have, like almost everything we cook have pimint one time in it. <laughs> because I just love, I just love the little, you know. So that's one thing I, I thought he would have mentioned. But you didn't. Sorry. What's the, <laughs> no sorry babe. Uh, what's, what's another thing? Well. It goes like this, Kimalto. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, I shouldn't say Kimalto. Can I? You can. It goes like this, Kamiwemi. <laughs> the music. Even though I'm responsible for most of the Jamaican music in our household. Yeah. Generally, I would just say that the music is with a Jamaican around every corner. Just as you're walking in Jamaica, there's literally music everywhere, anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, music is with you. With me. Not always Jamaican music, but you love. You love I'm always music. singing. You're I'm singing. always doing some. I love music. And guys. I, mean, I think that just portraits that beautiful little island so well. Just look about. Look at all that music that you've been producing. Mm -hmm. Ska, rock steady, reggae, dance hall. Reggae. <laughs> I love how you say reggae. <laughs> but, like, and the music is with you also. Yeah. In one way or the other. Mm. So, um, I, I, I just gonna have to say that one too. Music in, in, in some way. I and, take that, yeah. That right. makes me Jamaican, yeah. And For you sure. all are so bloody musically talented. You you guys sing. Yeah. I don't know. 
there's just there's just something amazing with how much beautiful music that island produced has produced because today I can question some of the music industry but let's not let's not go there, go there. Um, all right so I'm still waiting on that final point uh, point that you have so let's hear it and let's make our assessment what's your next one well I saved this uh, intentionally for for last um, and obviously it has to be that me as a boyfriend you're not a boyfriend anymore sorry fiance <laughs> I'm sorry um, Oh, I, I just thought about that that video with that football player saying, "I want to oh. thank my my wife and my my, and my girlfriend." girlfriend. <laughs> and I appreciate my fans also, my wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say, I'm so I'm so sorry, my wife. Lizzie, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart. Next. No, but the thing is that me as a, as a fiance of yours, I am never safe. There can be twerking on me anywhere, <laughs> anytime. So I'm never safe. I always have to be on my but watch. But isn't that like good type of danger? It's <laughs> a really good type of danger. I can live with that. I can live with that. Oh my god. But lately, uh, I've been, I've been like gearing up my my whining. Yeah. <laughs> so you you're not not even you are safe these days, Kamalto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so true, guys. Like I don't know why I just find this so funny. But yeah, Alex has been practicing his whining and, and all that, especially when the wedding is coming Pra up. Practicing. <laughs> yeah, you have been practicing. He's been practicing how to move his hip more you know in a gyrating circular motion instead of just making a hoop with his waist you know <laughs> so he's been doing really well to be honest with you we're just bad bad threat for each other we're just twerking. as bad we're just as bad both of us yeah but I, I agree though that makes me Jamaican you know we always need to move our waist and hips and booties a little bit yeah but all right I think you had some Studied. some good points there, babe. They were okay. Mm, okay, but yeah. not more than that. They're okay. They're okay. They were okay. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. What um, if you are, you know, if you're dating a Jamaican girl, you could be Jamaican also or somebody else. And I hope I didn't make anyone, I didn't offend anyone with my points here. Yeah, this They're is all my. Go yeah, on. it's not made to offend anyone really, you know, it's just open, open talk really. Um, so let us know down in the comments what you would have said that you think would make someone like stand out as a Jamaican. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video, isn't it? Go get yourself a Jamaican girlfriend, that's all I can say. Oh, yeah, oh, like oh, oh. there's no other way but the Jamaican way. Now we're gonna go what eat some lunch. Yo. So, yeah. It's already cold guys, like we're having the sun out of course. It's okay weather, but it's already cold. And we like autumn has basically already begun. Like this is my first time being here. Jesus Christ, this is a long goodbye. That oh that's one thing that makes me Jamaican. <laughs> we don't true. We don't know how to just end a goodbye. Like we say, all right, later. And I say, oh, you know what I say? This, 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 this. And you go on, go on, go on. So that's actually one thing. I don't know how to just end. But okay, guys. I guess this is goodbye. Bye. Bye.